In this lesson, we will going to learn how to control the brightness of an LED connected to Raspberry Pi using a technique called pulse width modulation. Now, pulse width modulation is a great technique in which we can change the duty cycle of a clock and in results, we can control the brightness of an LED. So let's create a file, sudo nano brightness.py and we have to import the GPIO module and use it as a GPIO. Then we also need to import the time module. Then we have to set mode for GPIO.bcm for the Broadcom chip. Then GPIO.setup. So set up the pin number 21 and make it GPIO 21 as an output mode because LED is output device. Then let's create a variable instance called LED and then say gpio.pwm as like the previous example. Uh, it takes a two parameters. First is a pin number. This is a gpio21 pin and the second one is a frequency in hertz. That is a 500 hertz for us. And led.start to start the pwm and when the pwm starts, when the script executes, it will be a 0% duty cycle. And then in a while loop, never ending while loop, we have to write a two for loops. So one for loop will increase the brightness slowly and the second for loop will decrease the brightness slowly, right? So let's write a first for loop. So for DC stands for duty cycle. It's just a variable in range between zero to 101 because I want to increase the brightness from 0 to 100 slowly and the resolution is always 5 so the brightness will increase um, basically this variable DC value will increase every time by 5 this is what it means like when this for loop execute at every um, time when the for loop executes the value will increase by 5 like let's say 0 5 10 15 20 25 something like this and then inside the for loop we would have to say led dot change duty cycle and then we have to pass the variable dc here and then we have to give a decent delay between every time the for loop executes so time dot slip and I would like to give 0.1 second. Okay, so this is the for loop which will increase the brightness slowly uh, every time the for loop executes. And here is another for loop, okay, which will decrease the brightness. So um, DC in range. And this time it will start with 100 and decrease till it reaches to minus 1. Okay, and then every time when the for loop execute, it will decrease five uh, from the hundred. So when this second for loop executes, it will decrease the value from let's say hundred, then ninety five, then ninety, then eighty five, eighty, seventy five, seventy. Likewise, every time this for loop executes, and inside the for loop, we have to say LED dot change duty cycle and then pass this duty cycle DC variable and again every time this for loop executes we want to give it a delay time dot slip 0.1 seconds so if I save the program uh, let me make it more readable hit enter here and now I think the program is more readable hold control press O to save the program hit enter control X to come out of the file ls to make sure whether we have the file so we have the brightness.py file so let me run the program python brightness.py and when i run the program you can see the led brightness slowly increases and decreases slowly right so the first for loop will increase the brightness from 0 to 100 every time when the for loop executes it will increment by 5 when the second for loop executes then the brightness will be decreased and it will be decreased every time by 5 so that's how we can vary the duty cycle and we can generate a pulse width modulation on GPIO pin 21 so let me put down this LED onto the breadboard 
So let me place it like this. Okay, so this is how I will going to place the LED on the breadboard. Now look at this. This is a longer leg of the LED and this one is the shorter leg of the LED. That's why I just went a little bit this longer leg. So it will fit properly on the breadboard. Of course, when it comes to set up the LED socket, then we have to add the current limiting resistor. So we should take one 330 ohm resistor. Okay, so this is a 330 ohm resistor and I will going to connect this 330 ohm resistor as a current limiting resistor across the longer leg of the LED. So this is how I will going to place the resistor on the breadboard. Now when it comes to add the socket to the Raspberry Pi then we will going to need two jumper wires okay male to female jumper wire. So let me take one black jumper wire and I will use the male part of the jumper wire okay look at this okay the same socket here the shorter leg of the LED because these are vertically short right so I will going to place this male header here on the breadboard and the female part of the jumper wire will going to connect to the ground pin on Raspberry Pi and here is the ground pin that is a physical pin 39 so let me connect okay so this is just next to the ethernet hub one more jumper wire the white one and the male part of the jumper wire i would going to connect to the tie point here i would rather use this one okay and you can see this are vertically short okay on the second row element they are vertically short they are internally connected so the free end of the resistor through this jumper wire will going to connect to the gpio 21 pin on raspberry pi so here we have a raspberry pi and this one is the gpio 21 pin i hope you can see the circuit properly I hope you will find this video educational and entertaining and we'll see us into the next lesson. Thank you very much.